Today we're flying with Fly Dubai on one of the worst flights I've taken with no entertainment, no ability to change seats and a whole impossible check-in and booking process and no space in DXB to record. We'll pick up the journey at DXB Airport. Alright, it's time to enter DXB. After a long walk, welcome back everyone to our channel. Today we're going on a long flight over to Bucharest. It's actually five hours. We're going with Fly Dubai train their service in 2023 and we're going to see everything in review. Let's check in right away. There was no separate check-in desk, which slowed down the check-in process. So, just checked in quite a long process. Um, there was the concierge service, which is nice, which they didn't have at Sydney Airport, uh, where they basically pick up your bags and they do everything with the check-in process. It was about 40 AED, so about like 15 US dollars, something like that, 10. And um, now we're just gonna go up to security. So, just past security and now we're going out to the... I think one of the best things about uh, Dubai Airport DXB is that there are a lot of shops, business and first class lounges, one of the best in the world. A lot of um, op options to do currency exchange, there are a lot of duty free shops, so it's one of the most accessible and um, best places for, for shopping and relaxation. So now we're just going to head up over to the gate, um, it's not too far from actually from the security and we're going to check out everything on all the facilities there. So just arrived at the gate and we're going to explore some of the facilities here at the gate and we're going to do some a bit of plane spotting. I think DXB doesn't really like um, plane spotters because you see like this whole area is like barred off and there's like this protection like to go in that area and anyway it's like that um, dots so it's really hard to place like a suction car for like some for cool like the planes so I think just watch it for now don't really record it. So one hour before departure, we started the boarding process and you may have guessed that for a budget airline, it would have been a bus. So we have to board our bus over to the plane because our mic, something like with the jet bridge, I think with the flight to buy it, we'll just park the airline to stay through the bus rather than the jet bridge. So uh, we'll see where it leads to hopefully uh, on the plane on time. A6 FPD and just like that we started the boarding that's a peak of business class but this is the economy um, and there was actually a lot of issues like with the seats I think Fly Dubai has um, some issues with like the online websites and the seats were very narrow there wasn't a lot of legroom except for the bulkhead seats Okay, that's so after a quick taxi over to the runway, we were delayed by about 15-20 minutes which was a bit disappointing and for especially for like DXB but nonetheless we uh, took off um, from not sure the runway 
but it was quite a beautiful to see all the buildings and the things of Dubai. Dubai is a really nice place, and just like that, we're almost in the end. One of the biggest letdowns is that this um, aircraft did not have any entertainment whatsoever. You had to buy these packages for about 40 AUD, AED, which is about um, 10 US dollars. It's really limited selection here for the movies and the entertainment. Um, it's all like group purchase packages. So it's about 11 US dollars for the premium package. And um, yeah, is it good? Yes. So just land here in Bucharest and thank you so much for, for watching this video. Please like, subscribe and share. We'll be back with more videos like So here's a base question of what happened with the seats so basically i was trying to i booked through a travel agent and i was trying to change the seats and unfortunately they did not allow me to change the seats i contacted fly dubai and i asked them okay could i please change the seats they basically told me that they can't i can't do that only through a travel agency i contacted the travel agency they sent me back to fly dubai unlike my other airlines like emirates which i've tried there is no um, phone number which is accessible from Australia or there's only one number from Dubai which is not always available 
there are no there's no live chat it's just email support and they reply once in 96 hours so there's no like whatsapp or anything else so it's really hard to contact them so for i hear some ratings fly to buy service zero out of five um cleanliness was four out of five the bathrooms were pretty good the food was five out of five and um, the overall flight two out of five thanks so much for watching